Okay, we all know that television pictures fly through the air carried along by pixel fairies that moonlight at night picking up kids' teeth from underneath their pillows. I mean, come on, people, it's science. Well, now there are some pictures that don't travel through the air, they just hang in the air, kind of like this. These, of course, are held up by hologram fairies. They have to, it's a union thing. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to separate the fact from the fairy fiction. Holograms are made by recording the light scattered off an object and presenting it in a three-dimensional way. True holograms, created by using laser beams, are a recent invention. But hologram-like optical illusions have been around for centuries. I headed to Van Nuys, California to meet Ashley Crowder, the CEO and co-founder of Ventana a company that's improved upon this old school trick by scanning your body and turning it into a hologram selfie. Holographic technology has been around since the late 1800s with Pepper's Ghost. It's what's used in Disneyland Haunted Mansion with a big piece of glass. Named after illusionist John Henry Pepper, Pepper's Ghost is a hologram made by reflecting an image off a 45 degree angled piece of glass that is invisible to the eye. The reflection creates a specter effect of the original image. Ashley uses the same basic principle to build her holograms. We've created a proprietary screen that's perfectly clear, but when we reflect an image onto that, you can see that image, so it looks like a person standing or floating there. We've also created software to make that interactive, so you can say hello to the hologram and it will say hello back. All right, I am ready to become a hologram. Okay. Stand right there. To create my hologram, I stood in front of an interactive display that had a camera system to detect my image. So there I see go. the cameras are above, so it captures me in real time. Yes, yeah, so the camera's capturing in real time and it's infrared sensors that are able to find your body and cut you out of the background. Oh, wow. And then we've programmed different gestures. <laughs> I see my camera guy in the background, too. <laughs> He's hollow bombing you. <laughs> and now with your left hand, you can actually spin the logo. Ah. And so that was something we coded, but it could be anything. Like if you do a disco move with your right hand. Okay. There we go, the disco ball appears. We do require hardware to project this image. It can't just be floating in thin air. That's not possible yet. What we found is by making these holograms interactive, that's what helps you further break that barrier of realism. And she's right. It was fun interacting with this character, my own avatar. The infrared sensors are tracking your body, which we've mapped to the character model. And we've built software to really help automate this process of that mapping so we can take any character model and let you control them. Don't leave me hanging. What are some of the applications that you see in the future? Business communications is definitely one. We're already starting to do CEOs to multiple venues at the same time. But it doesn't stop there. How about living the dream of singing alongside your favorite rock star, like Rob Thomas? Or at least his hologram. You could soon examine rare artifacts at a museum or hold a vital organ. Oh, wow. It's amazing. Yeah, so you can see all the different arteries. See it definitely helping with education, so getting to show you know, younger students before they're even in med school a 3D heart and letting them interact with it. Using large-scale frames, Ashley's company can scale up their holograms to huge sizes which makes me wonder if I was actually talking to Ashley or her hologram.